So I wanted, <laughs> so I wanted to talk to you about uh, whether or not encrypted apps are really secure. Uh, no. <laughs> right, because I know the Tucker thing. So it was explained to me by a friend who uh, used to do this, used to work for the government. Yeah. He's like, they can look at your signal, but what they have to do is take the information that's encrypted, and then they have to decrypt it, and it's very expensive. So they said, he told me that for the Tucker Carlson thing, when they found out that he was going to interview Putin, it costs like something like $750,000 just to decrypt his messages to find out that they did it. So it is possible to do. It's just not that easy to do. I think you should view any given messaging system as um, uh, not not whether it's secure or not, but but there are degrees of insecurity. So um, so there's just some things that are less insecure than others. Um, so um, you know, on on X, we we just rebuilt the entire messaging stack. Um, into X, what's called XChat. Yeah, that's so, what I wanted to ask you about. Yeah, it's cool. Um, so it's it's using uh, sort of peer to peer, uh, sort of kind of a peer to peer based uh, uh, encryption system. So, so it's kind of similar to Bitcoin. Um, so it's uh, it's it's I think very good encryption. We're gonna and we're, you know we're testing it thoroughly. Um, so they call it. Oh, it's just don't worry about it. It's just a hook for advertising. I'm like, uh, okay, so somebody can just uh, use that same hook to get in there and look at your messages. Um, so XChat has no hooks for advertising, um, and I'm not saying it's perfect, uh, but it's an, our goal with XChat uh, is to replace what used to be the Twitter, you know, the Twitter DM stack with a fully encrypted system, uh, where you can text, send files, uh, do audio video calls, um, and um, and and it's it's uh, you know I think it'll be the least I, I would call it the least insecure of any messaging system.